circuit consisting of two or more components is common these components in the circuit can be connected in two different ways that is series or parallel now the questions are what is series connection what is parallel connection how is voltage and current in case of series or parallel connection what are the real life application of series and parallel connection well i'm going to answer all these questions in this video so if you want to have the answers and the basics of series and parallel connection watch the video before getting to the content directly i would like to tell you guys that people who are having their interest in electrical wiring or plc programming or maybe some logical wiring must go through this video because this will make your basics clear very clear so first take a look at the things that we will be understanding today what is series connection key points and application of series connection what is parallel connection key points and application of parallel connection so to understand this connection consider an example of water pump and pipes let's say you are having three pipes and a water pump you connected those three pipes as shown in the figure now how will water flow yes you guessed it right from pipe a b and c and then into the tank as you can see there is only one flow of water throughout all the pipes and there is equal amount of water in all the three pipes this is nothing but an example of series connection now let's say i connected the pipes in the way as shown in figure in this case water will flow through pipe a then some part of water will get divided into pipe b and remaining will continue to flow in pipe a again it will get divided into pipe c and remaining will continue in pipe a as you can see there are multiple flow of water in this type of connection and the quantity of water may be different in all the three pipes depending upon the size of pipe this is an example of parallel connection if you understood this pump and pipe example you have understood 50% of stuff remaining 50% you will understand soon just keep watching first let's get into the detail of series connection instead of pump let's say we have a battery instead of pipe we have a resistor and instead of water current is flowing you'll get the details in the figure if resistors are connected end to end then it is called as series connection now in first case switch is open and hence current flowing through the resistor will be zero now when we close the switch the current will start flowing through the resistor unlike water current has a single path to flow and it is equal in all the resistances here you can see the value of current flowing through all the resistances is 0.5 milliampere or 500 micro ampere now this is about current current flowing through each of the resistor is equal but what about voltage will it also be equal to find that out we will connect a voltmeter across each resistances so that it will give us the value of voltage drop across that particular resistor so voltage drop across 3 ohms resistor is 1.5 volts voltage drop across 5 ohm resistor is 2.5 volts and voltage drop across 10 ohm resistor is 5 volts now here comes the magical thing let's add the voltage drop across each resistor and that will give us 9 volts addition of voltage drop across each resistor is 9 volt which is nothing but our source voltage now we will see what are the key points in series connection current through any component is equal because electron has only one path to flow voltage across each component is different total voltage in series circuit is equal to the voltage drop across each individual resistance adds up in case of series connection now what are the application of series connection series connection is generally used where voltage division is needed 
reactors in power systems are connected in series most of the logical wiring where multiple conditions are to be checked is connected in series these are the few application of series connection now instead of connecting three resistors in series we'll connect them in the other way like we connected pipes in the our previous figure alike water current gets divided in this type of connection as there are multiple path to flow so the current through each resistor will be different the connections where current has number of path or more than two paths to flow is called as parallel connection so as you can see current flowing through each resistor is different now what about voltage will it also be different so to find that out we will connect a voltmeter across each resistor now from this as you can see every voltmeter is giving the same reading that is 9 volt so we can conclude that in parallel connection voltage across each component is equal as we are connecting it directly across the source so to find out the total current of the circuit we need to add all the three different currents and that will give us our total current so now you have total voltage and total current from this you can calculate total resistance of circuit by using ohms law total resistance will be equal to 0.625 kilo ohms here you may have observed the total resistance of the circuit is very low as compared to the individual resistance that's the property of parallel circuit total resistance reduces in case of parallel connection if you want to have details about how resistance behave uh, in series and parallel you can uh, watch my video on that you will get the link for that down in the description now let's list out what are the key points in parallel connection voltage remains same across each resistor current has multiple path to flow and hence current flowing through each resistance is different total resistance decreases in case of parallel connection total current is equal to the sum of individual current now let's see what are the application of parallel connection the biggest application of parallel connection is the wiring in our home the wiring of our home is in parallel because equipment we use every day are designed for standard voltage of 230 volt in case of india and it may be different for different country and current of each equipment is different and this can be satisfied by parallel connection only and that's why uh, our homes are designed with parallel connection so guys i hope uh, the video will help you and you if you like the video do not forget to hit the like and share button you can also visit my website that is www.theelectricalguy.in for more electrical stuff you can also find us on facebook linkedin instagram google plus to receive our future updates you can get the link for all this down in the description so guys that's all for this video i will see you guys in our next one till then keep watching keep learning